So, Corinne, how do you like the cookie from uh, Mario Wife? Oh, my God, nothing beats a traditional Italian cookie. That was good, eh? Yeah. Okay, then it was a good thing we got the, the fresh veggies over there. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hand, and now we have all the good vegetables to make our nice frutti di mare. Rice with the frutti di mare. What do you think about that? Sounds good to me. Okay. So, now just grab two peppers, mm. put over there to the coating board, please. And then also go get the seafood. We can start with the preparation. And then uh, at the same time, these? yeah, take it out away and bring the seafood. Okay. That's where we can start, okay? Thank you. In the second talk, now we're gonna do Corinne. Alberto started to sh slide the um, zucchini. We're gonna make uh, some uh, uh, grilled vegetables, you know? And uh, I already started something in the, in the, um, in the grill with the, um, with the peppers, you know? So we're gonna have uh, some roasting peppers and some um, grilled zucchini, okay? Okay, uh, this is the, this this is already washed, and let's start. What this knife I think is better. Okay. First thing you cut the two ends off, and then you slide the zucchini in the middle. And then you take the one F and do like this, because that's the easy way to do it. And then take the other one. And then the other one. And that's one. And you do the same thing. Okay, Dad, I got the seafood. Good, thank you. Thank you, Green. That's nice. So, but uh, before we're gonna do that, I Want to finish the cutted zucchini this way, we're gonna put it on the grill. Well, when my dad's finishing up the zucchini, I'm gonna take care of the seafood, and you guys can check out Luciano's quick tip number one. Voglio cannelloni per me, si per me. Un pochino te ne darò, si per te. Triste la tua dieta. Corinne, I'm gonna right. show you how can you cut your vegetable <clears throat> and not cut yourself your fingers. First you start with paper like this, then you open up like this, you take this thing out. You take this piece here out. Then you do the same thing with the other, just hold your paper, slide your knife, open up, you take the inside out. Same thing for the other one, you stick your two fingers like that and just pull it. See? Mm. Pops out. Yeah, it just pops out. Then you all, all pull your pepper like this. You cut in half first, like this, like this, like this. Then you start with a two F, and you put your finger like this. Your finger, like your, your nail finger against the, the blade, because if you, if you hold it like this, you have a chance to cut yourself. So you do like this. You hold it like this. You grab at the back, but hold it here because you have a better grab and you put your finger like this, see? Oh, so they kind of curl over. Yeah, when you cut, you cut against your nail, and then you just go like this. You know, and in the same time you cut, you pull your, your finger back, 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 until you finish. Okay, you wanna try, Corinne? Okay. Okay, put it right here. Okay, hold it. There we go. So close. Very good. good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Very good job, Corinne. Very good job. Good job. Yeah. Next practice, and you'll be very good. There you go. Good. The pepper that has about done. I already put it down at first started because they take a little longer. And now I'm gonna put the zucchini, and the grill is nice already. And um, I like to do this way, with no dressing before the zucchini, like uh, oil or salt, because my family always did it this way, and we believe that if you do like this, the zucchini will stay nice and moisture. 
If you put a salt, they have the tendency to take the water away and they become very dry. There you go. One more. We squeeze them up here. And we got it. Okay, Corinne, the vegetables, they are nice and well done. I'm gonna put it right here. How the mask will come along, Corinne? I am just about finished. Good job, great, 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 great. Now we're gonna start to put the muscle in the pan. Why do we do that first? That's a great question, Corinne. That will be our next quick tip. Voglio cannelloni per me, sì per me. Un pochino te ne darò, sì per te. Triste la tua dieta. Okay, Corinne, look at it, you see? The reason why we're gonna do this, and when you put it to cook it, you don't need any water. Because you see, it come already, the water will come by itself. And the reason why we do that is because the muscle, they open up, and the, if you have a sand, it will release the sand. So, when you have your risotto, you eat the risotto without a sand. So, Good. when you, when the like sand comes out though, do you need to rewash it? Well, just give a quick rinse. Okay. Yes. But you see, they start to open up? Yeah. If it by chance, any of these muscles or claims they have a um, sand inside, mm -hmm. it, will, it will release, it will go down. Okay. Okay, you see, see the water is going to come by itself and they start to open? That's mm -hmm. a good thing. Another couple of minutes, it will be done. Let's cover them up and that's it.